About 80 veterans are back home from there reminiscing today about the only honor flight from Kentucky this year. What it meant to so many who have given so much to this country. Thank you so much for your service. Dawn at Muhammad Ali International. These guys know what each other's been through. These local men who are very familiar with the uniform get ready for a mission in Washington, D.C. Welcome to Washington. A visit to the war memorials meant to honor the veterans and the fellow service members they lost along the way. I got to meet a lot of different people from a lot of different places. Salutes, smiles, and flags in our nation's capital. <laughs> Chants, signs, patriotic music. And more smiles, even if under a mask, when they landed back home in Louisville from their honor flight Wednesday night. It's just like I'm coming home from a war. Among them, Michael Rice. Well, I was fortunate enough to get picked for this. A former Marine who faces a different battle now. Oh, I got stage four prostate cancer. He wasn't sure he'd get to experience all of this. Because what I saw, it's awesome. The pandemic pausing honor flights for a while, many vets didn't live long enough to get to the big moment they knew would mean so much. Now that Rice has, So you sure is a blessing, and I'm very blessed. They have a saying in the military. First in, last out, they stick with you until it's over with. And it still holds very true as these Kentucky veterans get some rest. I I'm going to sleep. Following a long day, they'll never forget. As of right now, there is not another honor flight scheduled.